The Galaxy S6 is Project Zero, the reboot. With its aim set at the iPhone 6, design is clearly important and this year, Samsung hit it right in the bullseye. While other brands do facelifts, Samsung goes for a complete overhaul. This time, the Galaxy S6 is joined by the Galaxy S6 Edge, a phone unlike anything else we've seen so far. Are they all show and no go? I'm Bogey for GSM Marina and this is the Samsung Galaxy S6 and S6 Edge review. Different and yet the same, the two Galaxy S6 phones share some of the best components available. Software and hardware are in line with the new simple material look of Android Lollipop. Either Galaxy S6 will give you Gorilla Glass 4 on the front and back with a metal frame in between with no trace of plastic anywhere on the chassis. The Galaxy S6 is the conservative, clear-minded of the two. The Galaxy S6 Edge is the bold fashion statement. Both measure and weight nearly the same, but the handling is vastly different. Because the curved display, the metal frame of the S6 Edge is sharper and thinner. No beauty comes without compromise, and Samsung has sealed in the battery. Wave goodbye to your trusty microSD card slot while at it too. Don't spill water on the phones either. You still get a fingerprint sensor inside the home button, but this time it's touch-based and won't require you to swipe. This makes it far more accurate and a joy to use. At the back, there is a heart rate and blood oxygen sensor that shares a slot with the LED flash next to the protruding 16 megapixel camera. The 5.1 inch Super AMOLED display, QHD resolution, has the highest pixel density on a smartphone display to date. Both phones run TouchWiz, and the latest version is the most unobtrusive yet. Google's Lollipop plays a major part in cleaning up the TouchWiz, and material design has an integral part in the overhaul. Samsung's stake on Android 5.0 strikes close to home with vivid colors accenting the interface, but what you see isn't what you're stuck with. There's a new theme store that lets you change the overall look. With the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge, you get a bit of extra functionality in touch with. The information stream can display a couple of info panels like Yahoo News, Talks, Sports, an RSS reader, and naturally show you notifications. People Edge allows the Edge to light up in different colors, corresponding to five favorite contacts. Moving away from Qualcomm, Samsung has decided to go with an in-house developed Exynos 7420 chipset only. The internal storage is nearly three times faster than the memory found on the Galaxy S5. All this rounds off in a speed improvement visible both on paper and in practice. In our thorough test of the audio prowess of the two phones, we found that they offer exceptional sound quality. The bottom-facing single loudspeaker is a bit quieter than the Galaxy S5. It scores a good mark in our scoring system, beating the dual-speaker HTC One M9. We know what you're thinking. With such a slim design, it's hard for Samsung to have also improved the battery life. And you're right, they haven't. Our battery test shows that Galaxy S6 battery endurance takes a 13% hit compared to the last year's flagship S5. You can use the provided fast charger to quickly top up the battery. Our test indicates 15 minutes charging results in 30% extra battery. You can be part of the cool wireless charging kits as the Galaxy S6 and Galaxy S6 Edge support both Qi and PMA standards. Samsung has always put an emphasis on the cameras on its smartphones, and if the hump on the back is any indication, the camera is a main focus here. The 16 megapixel resolution from the Galaxy S5 and Note 4 hasn't changed, but the aperture has gone wider from f2.2 to f1.9, promising better low light performance. The addition of optical image stabilization will allow blur free and handheld photos at a lower shutter speed. Should the photo opportunity strike, you can open up the camera from any state with a double press on the home button. The new gesture brings up the viewfinder faster than you can say cheese. So how good are the photos taken with the Galaxy S6 and S6 Edge? Put simple, class leading. Images from both phones come out with vivid color, superb detail and are tack sharp from edge to edge. Noise is kept well in check and the dynamic range ensures plenty of detail in both shadows and highlights. The Samsung Galaxy S6 Duo can shoot a variety of video resolutions and modes. The sensor tops out at 4K, but there's also Full HD recording. Videos carry over the great qualities of the still images and also benefit from the optical image stabilization. We found the Galaxy S6 videos steadier compared to the digitally stabilized Apple iPhone 6. Apple went after the bigger Samsung Galaxy S smartphones with a bigger iPhone 6 Duo, and now Samsung is striking back. Everything you can do, I can do better. The new Galaxy S6 series matches the iPhone on its premium fit and finish, and in true Samsung fashion, tries to outclass it in everything else. 
bigger screen, double the screen resolution, double the camera resolution, higher video resolution, double the base storage, you get the point. Even the price is up to iPhone standards and so are the compromises, non-expendable storage, non-removable battery. But for the first time ever, buying a Galaxy over an iPhone doesn't equal a compromise in design or build quality. This video was quite different from our regulars, right? If you liked it, please subscribe and give us some feedback in the comments below. Thanks for watching.